Well, I switched back to my mini wallet. This is like my summer wallet. It's just like, it doesn't open, it's just this. Your summer wallet? Yeah, because I'm like careless and like carefree. Mm, <laughs> I'm in the ocean. I'm kicking my legs in the ocean. So this one just get has- wet. Yeah, get away, go I get pool. wet. We need to run the pool. This just has my six, my six debit cards and my ID. Just that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, oh, well, I'm not saying there's money on all of them, but I got them. Oh, guess who Uber- What's in here? Uber, Uber Drew, Uber Drew. Weed? It must be. Black tar? Hey. I must have brought this to the beach. Is that, what is that, hashish? No, it's not, it's not drugs per se, but I do scrape some of it off and heat it up on a spoon. <laughs> and, oh, oh. Save it for the pod. We are on the pod, right? Should we open those windows she for said, more light? She said, the pod. We are on the pod. Is okay. this the intro? Yeah. Bitch, then why am I talking to you? Because you're a part of this. Um, you're a part of this, Tracy. Hi, everyone. It's just me. It's Georgia. <laughs> we're here at the pod today. We're opening windows, but I just want to mention this week on TrixieMotel.com, we're running a promotion. We're going to do a bunch of stuff here. 10% off for the whole week. Sorry. Trixie sorry. Motel Tank, Trixie Shorts, Trixie works. Cup. Sorry, Horrible. I'll stop trying to sell you things. That's blah, it. Blah, blah, blah. That's no, it. That's but can I just say, oh no, I looked at your merch. That's lovely. Thank you, thank you. You know I what just... that looks like? Jennifer Lopez's sippy cup. Oh yeah. She has a rhinestone sippy cup that I saw her drink out of myself. Can I, maybe you should get that stone. Love this no. Maybelline Express Brow, Brow Mascara. Are we Not do, sponsored. We're doing what's in my bag. No, it's just <laughs> cheap and good. And I was on the way here and I was like, for how cheap this is? Affordable. <gasps> Great. Maybelline goes off, bitch. They do. They do. And I'm they sorry. give back to the community. And they give back. <laughs> but like Desert Island, if I had to redo all my drag from like a drugstore. Desert Island. If I was marooned on an island oh, that only like, had what, CVS. Three <laughs> and I had to get in drag for some reason. Maybelline, they're just yeah. so good. If a Russian billionaire invited you to his private island. Yes. And there was just a CVS and you uh -huh. had no drag. Maybelline it would turn happen. you out. Yeah. We have a friend who swears that they were invited to perform for Rihanna while she was naked. <laughs> Solo. Well, no, no. They well, were the Rihanna only two was naked. Oh, Rihanna was naked and they well, were the only two people in the room. Yes. And she was, yes, hand plucked personally because she has a quality that. That you and I don't have. And, and we, we could, could never, never have. <laughs> <laughs> that no other drag queen could ever dream of Absolutely possessing. Absolutely not. Yeah. Can I say, that, I hope you intend to put this on the wall because I love this. That's my fap uh, tray. Wait, is this for rolling joints? No, fapping. You come on a tray? Yeah, to that. Two birds. Can I tell you what happened this morning? I woke up and I was just feeling, I don't know. Horny? No, the kind of horny where you want to do something to someone else, but you don't care if you get off. Do you know what I mean? Selfless? <laughs> yeah, I guess it was like horny, but not about me. <laughs> so imagine sex, but instead of centering- Submissive. Yeah, instead of centering myself as the white man, I centered the other white man I have sex with. You were queering your space. <laughs> I can't, well, I heard this morning, David was, because uh, we've been on production calls for a certain TV show mm. at 7.30 in the morning every morning. Okay. On Zooms. Okay. And by we, I mean David. Okay. I sleep through You sleep it. in. Yes. So I hear downstairs, and it sounds like David's crying. And I go, is he crying? And I wake up and I come downstairs and he's watching The Real Housewives. And I said, I thought you were crying. And he was like, no, I was on a Zoom. I said, all right. So then we started doing stuff. I started, wait, 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 wait. So who was crying? No one was crying. <laughs> but is I, that what got you hard? No, <laughs> I wasn't hard. I came down and I was one of those moods where I was like, it's like 8.30 in the morning. I'm gonna suck this guy's dick. It was in that moment I knew I'm gonna suck this guy's dick. <laughs> and that's all. Okay. And that's who I am. And I don't but know why you're so mad at me. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> can I have sex with my boyfriend of seven no, years? Is you that can't. okay? You no, the mini I'm just concerned that you're doing things through selfless acts of sexuality. But I have to say, I, are you a morning horny person? Mm, if if I actually after I work out, usually. I'm a, I'm a morning horny person, but not always a able to come an early morning person. So I might have a boner and I might be interested, but we might want to wait a couple hours unless you want to really put elbow grease in. You know? I don't wake up with people, so Oh, okay. I heard crying and I went, mm. Mm. Mama, if you're waking up with me in the same bed, you are not horny. You're the opposite of horny. Yeah, you're, you're peeling away. You're like horrified. Uh huh. It's like the terrifier. I just made them watch the terrifier too, kill scene. Oh. Uh, it's that. It's like when she gets scalped with the scissors, that's what waking up with me is like. Wait, are you talking about two? Two. Because I watched one the other day for the first time, had never seen it. Okay, tell them about. Well, the, I stopped halfway through. 
Because Did I didn't see? I didn't live, girl. Do you, Mommy, it's a horrible movie. I didn't live. But you didn't see the ultimate the kill acting, scene? I didn't live. Oh, terrible acting. Horrible fashion. The sweet shot. The, the, the effort of like colored gels. I, listen, I've made cheap movies. I make cheap YouTube videos every yeah. day. I yeah. know about cheap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shoestring budget. Although, yeah. It but, looked cheap, mama. Yeah. <laughs> it looked ho- like a Hollywood Boulevard era. Too big zirconia. <laughs> Pleather, not even nice jewelry. pleather. <laughs> CVS flip flops, honey. Yeah. Plastic stones. But you didn't see the moment where he's uh, strung up the woman, ripped her uh, nude, and then saw her from the pus- sawed her from the pussy to the crown of the head uh-uh. in front of her friend. No, that was the ultimate gag of that movie. Uh, Sharon Needles recommended this. I was like, Sharon, like years and years ago, I was at my old apartment. I was like, I need something scary to watch. She's like, Watch the Terrifier. It's so awful. And I watched it, and I was like. Sharon, I hate you for that. It was it the, was really really. But but Mateo, it was short pod, though. It was Ma- short. Mateo and you have told me that two is the one. But I <laughs> I couldn't not watch one. I'm not gonna skip to two. I'm not no, an idiot. you should skip to two because two though it should have been half as long. If you can't look back at your own work and be accepting that other people have different experiences, yeah. we haven't even gotten to Barbie. Oh, I know, I know. We haven't oh, even oh, begun. Mama, we're we haven't the even movies. retrieved the mop before we start to mop the floor. I'm still walking to the closet, the utility closet. I haven't even punched the clock. I haven't even to work. Open, I haven't opened the front door of this house. I'm not even here yet. Walking I'm to Bobby like Nancy up. Drew, who did the review like, hi, I'm not a reviewer. And by the way, me knowing about Barbie, caring about Barbie, does not make my opinion more valid than anyone's. No, we're gay. We have the right to just say what we feel. But I've seen it twice now. You have. I have. I have to also say, mm-hmm. this is, you know what, like at a meeting where somebody holds pass the, the- Pass the rock, hold the rock. I just want to say that anybody who, the person I want shot, and I don't really believe in guns, but sometimes I do. The person I want shot is the person who's like, Barben, the Barbenheimer, the person doing a double feature. Well, you see, it's funny, because like my boyfriend and I went to the movies and I went to see Barbie. But it's, and I, my boyfriend went to see Oppenheimer. And then we got in an argument on the way home and got in a car crash and we both died. Barbenheimer. Barbenheimer. First of all, who's going to see Oppenheimer, Mama? Mama. Mama. We done. Grueling, we were, grueling we were, long Mama. films with that thin man. Historical. Historical things that we know all the facts about. I can't take it. What is Oppenheimer? I don't even know. It was The a, bomb. Is it a historical drama? It's a historical drama. The um, atomic bomb, bitch. Mama. Who's going to see a three hour grueling film see, about the the thing is, the, thing, the thing is, Christopher Nolan turns the pussy. Of course. But of course he turns the pussy at Love a him. very trying length. Right. Tenet, four hours long. The Dark Knight, six and a half hours long. Um, oh, let's see. Girl, when I got COVID, I watched all those Dark Knight movies for the first time. 13 and a half hours long. What's going on with that? It's- um, Miss Nolan needs an editor. Miss, Miss, but she has one, um, but she doesn't use their, that, their services to the full. Yeah. I don't get it. I mean- like, Well, you're more credited than I am because I like bad movies and you have like a film degree and shit. So you know shit. I just think, I, listen, I'm at the point right now where I can, I think my attention span and taste level is a good metric for like pretty middle of the road quality. Like mm. if I can sit through it, it's probably a great film. Yeah. But like my patience is tried after two hours in, a th- in the theater. Tryisha. The Terrifier mm-hmm. tried us to, she tried us several times and she got us good. The length. Me and e- yeah, two and a half hours. For the Terrifier movie. one is two and a half hours. No, the Terrifier two. Me and Eden saw it in the movies on tour at the theater. But when you are seeing a, a person, a, a woman smearing blood from her crotch on the, the walls of an asylum, then giving birth to a clown head, you're not you really bored. In. You tune in. You tune in. You're like, you're not really bored. You at least have questions. You're like, ah. But uh-huh. after two hours, two and a half hours of challenging acting, it got a little stale. Anyways. Well, I, I just, I just don't approve of the the gay impulse to like um, have sex with butts. See both those movies in the same day. What, what is, is that? I think it's like no, but I think it's like a hers dare. towels. It's like oh. it's like. Hey, I heard if you have a Coca Cola and eat a pickle, it tastes like strawberries. Or like it's it feels like an ice bucket challenge. It feels very trying. <laughs> Try you should Turlington. It's the ALS. It's, it's the, the ALS. The Barbenheimer challenge. Yeah, the pink ice bucket challenge. Also, that's two hours. Oppenheimer's three hours. Honey, darling, what are we doing, girl? Girl, when are we I start out making, with our parents? When I when we start making films, Mama, Doja Cat, Doja Cat. It's like go. What did she say? 
um, you need to go help with your parents. Get off your phone and go help your parents. You need to get off your phone and go help your parents. <laughs> Barbenheimer. With the rent. People with the Barbenheimer. Yes, if you did Barbenheimer, you need to get off your phones and go help your parents around the house. Yes. By the way, she's not wrong. She's so she's right. not wrong. She's if you're on Instagram live chatting with your fave, you should be in the kitchen draining uh, the pasta. Get the colander. Uh, raggedy help someone. Him. Poor digestion. digestion. Ashtray. Ash Girl, Lana Del Rey's down at the fucking Waffle House. She's slinging, you have time. She's slinging <laughs> flapjacks in Arkansas. She's not doing Babe. Barbenheimer. <laughs> Babe, there is a tunnel under Waffle House. Are you chopping it up? <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time all in one place, all on your terms. Squarespace has amazing tools to help you own your analytics and use insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords or most popular products and content. One tool that I love is the online store. With Squarespace, you can easily sell your products, whether they're physical or digital or something else. Spiritual, perhaps? You bet Squarespace has all the tools you need to start selling online. Lastly, I simply must tell you about Squarespace's Fluid Engine. It's a next-generation website design system that makes it easier than ever for anyone to unlock unbreakable creativity. Start with the best-in-class website template and customize every design detail with reimagined drag-and-drop technology for desktop or mobile. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash bald to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or a domain well 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 today's bald and the beautiful is brought to you by our friends at better help okay without giving too much information the longer you know personally for me i'm so close to my partner my partner knows everything about me my par- partner gets the the good news first he gets the bad news first you know like and the longer we've been together The more I really love having access to talk therapy because it keeps me from treating my partner like a therapist. You know, sometimes I really just unload, unload, unload. And as long as I've been with my partner, it's just not the approach that works for me anymore. And you know, sometimes in life we're faced with tough choices and the path is not always clear. I mean, David has told me before, and I know this is true, I have the ability to talk myself like up a tree in circles about hypotheticals that aren't even currently happening. I will lose sleep about something that isn't happening. Isn't that, that is so wild, but that is me. That really is me. Whether you're dealing with decisions around your career, your relationships, um, your pet, maybe your, maybe your schnauzer is giving you the side eye or anything else. Therapy helps you stay connected to what you really want in your life. Don't think of therapy as just, you know, recovering from trauma or, you know, fixing anything like that. Don't think of yourself as in pieces or dysfunctional. Think of therapy as a way for you to be as tuned into what you want and what you deserve at all times. And unfortunately, part of that sometimes is coming to terms with some of your bad behaviors, but I'll let you figure that out on your own. I know for me with talk therapy, sometimes I come completely like heart racing, virgin... I get in these moods where I'm on the verge of crying at all times. Sometimes where I'm like, if, you, if you're like, are you okay? I'd be like, I'm okay. Like, I don't know what it is. And usually it's about nothing. And talk therapy, for me to just put the like whole thing in the room and see another person and like talk to someone about it, I am always walk away being like, this is not as complicated as I thought. This is not as end of the world as I thought. And I'm better at this than I thought. If you're thinking of therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's totally online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, suited to your schedule. What's great is I don't even drive. So like, you know, I don't always want to take an Uber. I don't want David to drive me. Like it's nice to be able to just take my computer, go somewhere remote in the house and just have a private conversation. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist. And you can switch anytime for any reason, for no reason, at no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash bald today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald, baby. Honestly, I think lately since I've been smoking more weed, I keep thinking like my perception is off because the simulation is getting weak. 
the simulation is glitching okay. funny. Lately, it's Be been more. like, if I talk about a song, it's on a commercial later. Mm. If David and I mention uh, someone we met that we never see, we see them that day. Mm. It's been like the universe, so no site. new people, no new songs, no new foods. It's the same things over and over and over. Okay. Right, but is that, isn't that your, just your psychic abilities being more fine tuned? I don't know because we all know that my perception of being psychic is also a lot like the way people perceive their own memory. So I'm probably not psychic as much as I just remember things. But I forget that I remembered things. So I'll be like, yeah. how did I know that? I know? And they'd be oh like, because I told you. I'm like, <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's supernatural. So I went to see Barbie yesterday mm. with the doll mafia. I have the a, dolls. Yes. A bunch of friends who are all our doll aficionados. Yes. It's a very elite club. You'll notice you weren't invited. I, I did notice that. However, I saw it the night before. Okay, uh, yes. Actually, two days before. So, so Andrew saw it with you. Yes. So Andrew was seeing it again. And I sit down next yeah. to Andrew. We'd both seen it. And he yeah. goes, I'm so happy you're sitting here because we've both seen this already. Yeah. And I said, everyone's been saying, what did you think? And I've told everyone, I need to see it again. I'm okay. not sure what I saw. Okay. I'm not sure what I saw. What did you see? Is it in the room with us now? <laughs> I'm actually still not sure what I saw. Okay. But I want to know what you thought of it. Okay. So first things first. I, um, Margot Robbie is so mesmerizing of course it's it's like um it's the anya taylor joy thing it's just like all these close-ups very you know she's 33 um and she was not wearing a lot of makeup that was one gripe i think darian shared with it the makeup was really not fierce i could have used uh, by the way she's flawless oh, flawless I could, and i think that's probably why I thought maybe it was art because in the beginning her skin's really perfect and as she starts to feel things she has yeah. like she gets more darker human. circles. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like I thought maybe it was an artistic choice. But I mean like just in general makeup wise across the board because mama Kate McKinnon styling and makeup I was not here for that one iota. Really? Yeah, so as weird Barbie, Kate McKinnon was giving punky Brewster after like it was very hokey pokey Missing person. Three little squiggles on a gorgeous face. She was not haggard, disgusting, hideous in any way, shape. It's Kate McKinnon. You wanted like... She was beautiful. You wanted Island of Misfit toys, like Toy Story Sid. Mama, I wanted ha like, yeah, like sea hag. You know what I mean? Like, the, uh -huh. like tons of makeup, like uh, art pop bullshit. Yeah. That's what... Three that's, little squiggles on a so flawless funny. face. That's what with Andrew said. I wanted, I wanted art pop level... She was given Dikey Punky Brewster, like uh, Betsy Johnson, like it as was a totally model. giving Betsy Johnson. Yeah. Betsy Johnson by way of like Harold and the Purple Crayon. Yes, just with a little squiggle. It's just oh, squiggle. I'm quirky. I'm weird. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. But um, Barbie, like the earnestness and the sincerity at the beginning, I was like, ooh. And then the first joke came about like, does anybody think about dying? And I was like, okay, this could not have come sooner because was it was like such a. I was like, this is really, this is really a lot. That's so funny because for me, I think the first 40 minutes of the film are like my favorite part both times. Well, that's in the first 40 minutes. That's what I mean. Yeah. But then my, my, my the first half of the film, both times, I liked a lot more than the second half. Yeah. I thought oh. the Ken song was so long Mama. and so unnecessary. I had to, I had to, Austin was next to me and he didn't want to see the movie. He was dragged. And, um, and it was, I was like, I had to look away and like hold my throat. It's just not for me. And we have to remember, this is a PG-13 film that, let's be honest, at the end of the day, it is a commercial for a product. It is. So we're watching a night. We pay to watch a commercial for a product where they sell is that us true? toys. I mean, yes, it's a movie about a product. If the movie was about Coca-Cola, we'd call it a commercial. It's, it's a movie about a product. But is that like the Nike movie with Matt Damon? Shoes or whatever it's called? Air? B little b that seems straight. I'm not watching that. But. It, but it's literally a commercial for Nike. But then again, I'm watching the promos for the movies to come, right? Haunted Mansion, recognizable IP. Being S revived. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. No. Gran Turismo? You're Tur telling Turismo. me. Turismo. You're telling me. Turismo. We, there's enough straight people in this world Turismo. that we need a movie about driving in a video game? That's not Gran Torino. It's Clint Wait, Eastwood. what did I say? Isn't Gran Turismo the... The video oh. game. Oh, I it's a driving I, video game. Oh, and I was like, Andrew and I were like, I went, what? And Andrew goes, There's so many straight people; they can make anything. Resident Evil. They can make anything. E I mean, all these movies. Uh, well, there was a good one, um, the Silent Hill video game. In in, in the Venn diagram of Barbie, things that I was for and mm. things where I'm not for. The things I'm actually not for, <clears throat> very slim category. Yeah. I liked pretty much all of it. Yeah, I was very here for the hair 
and makeup and costuming. My God, those costumes. Bitch, My God. I, several times I was like, oh, like gasped. The wigs. The wigs, gorge. The outfits, amazing. Actually, very refreshing to see good wigs. Lovely. We never see that anymore. I'm going to say something, though, in terms of casting. Ryan Gosling is a little long in the tooth for that role. You don't have, you can say 75 years old. He's seven, he's literally AARP and he was trying to give like, I don't know. By I the mean, way, I, I love understand. his performance. No, he's fantastic. He's fantastic. So funny. But there was, I could have dealt with about 40% less Ken in general because that musical number, it would try my nerves to the, to. I was going like this. But mind you, I was it's like, a, oh. mind you, it's the Grove. Everyone's in pink. Everyone knows who I am at the Barbie movie. Oh, you have to. I'm like, going. Yes, I love this. No, no, no. I'm, I'm looking loving around, it. No, I'm looking around yeah. to see of other people are like, this nine and a half minute Ken number. Mama. But then it turned into the the Twyla Tharp, Lucinda Childs, like um, Buzz Berkeley. I didn't Berkeley. like that either. You didn't. At all. Oh, ouch. You didn't like that? At all. Oh, I lived for that. When they all, when they became like, uh, when it became charts Greece? And formations. No. You didn't? Not at all. Okay. <laughs> I, the whole thing was Trisha Turlington. Wow, okay. It was so long. And I'm sorry, if we're doing, if this world is is requiring that Ken needs a song, mm -hmm. where's the Barbie song? I don't care if she sings it. Where's the Barbie song? Well, you know, those those opening um, jingles, I did not care for. I didn't care for the Lizzo song. No, I didn't either. Cut, me, cut my throat, I don't I care. I know, it's like, here we are in the Barbie world doing stuff and I love that. It's like, okay. That being said, that Dula Peep song goes off. That was fun. It goes off. Yeah. Dance the night away. Yep. Cunty. Yeah, Cuntisha. Also, in terms of casting, Patty Harrison would have chewed up the scenery and fucking Meg Stalter would have shat. Probably would have been too good. Chateau have, Marmont. Sh Chateau <laughs> Truly, Chateau Marmont. <laughs> Really? A month stay at the Chateau Marmont. A month Marmont. stay, a lifetime Comp. supply comped Chateau Marmont. Because she You shat. and a friend will be staying at the Hollywood Chateau. Mm -hmm. no, uh, they would have pulled focus. Um, I laughed, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six times out loud. And can, like, I haven't done that at the movies in a Absolutely. while. Absolutely. When Will Ferrell, the owner of Mattel, which, by the way, very smart on their part, they existed in this nether world where it's not quite Earth, not quite Barbie Land, because that company was uh it doesn't overlook the hollywood hills it's not in downtown no, no, california no it's not anywhere it, it doesn't exist it's a drag version of itself yes. no mattel exists it's in el segundo no no i believe that but that office with those people of course was a was a neutralized fictionalized like um fantasy world fantasy corporate world yes right and so like anyways when he was a uh, Will Ferrell was like, how much do you weigh? Doesn't matter. Like, I mean, things like Crazy. that. There were so many fun jokes. Or when Will Ferrell goes, um, he goes, uh, we've had two We've had two female CEOs and I. some of my friends are Jewish. <laughs> yes. Like that's somehow related to women in the workplace. <laughs> he also it's said, so obtuse and crazy. <laughs> there was some really good absurd, absurdist jokes like, uh, well, what, it's like a, if two wise trees started a podcast or totally. a, a choir of 2000 young fathers. Weird, <laughs> weird. I thought some of the visuals, Barbie Land is dazzling. Yeah, it's lovely. It's like Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. It's unreal. And it, how often do we see real environments in movies anymore? It's all green screen. It was amazing. Yeah. Barbie Land is amazing. The whole beginning is amazing. I'm not super satisfied <gasps> with the main problem being that the Kens hated it. The Kens play guitar now and like horses. <sighs> I, I would have liked higher stakes, but. I, as soon as that problem was presented, I, I just like, okay, this needs to be quickly resolved, quickly, efficiently taken care of, because this is not something I want to watch. It was a little, it was just a little overstayed its welcome, I thought. And then I will say, I love the Ruth Handler scenes, even though they were a little random. There's a scene where she's also, she tells an old woman on a bus stop that she's beautiful. And she says, we never see her again. And she's like, I know. And we never <laughs> see her again. And it relates to nothing. Okay. This episode is brought to you by Smalls. Cat food has been the same forever. It's time for cat food to move into the 21st century. Think about it. Human food has evolved so much. We used to just eat hot brown sludge out of stone bowls for three meals a day. Now we have 20 different kinds of milk to choose from at the coffee shop. So do you really think it's fair that my cat Jennifer is eating the same nasty dry food her great great grandparents ate? I think not. That's why you and your cat need to try Smalls. Are you still feeding your cat kibble? What the 
fuck is wrong with you? Now is the time to update your cat food with Smalls. They are protein-packed recipes made with preservative-free ingredients you'd find in your fridge, and it's delivered right to your door. Ding dong! Smalls was started back in 2017 by a couple of guys home cooking cat food in small batches for their friends. Today, Smalls has served millions of meals to cats all across America. You might be wondering, why can't I just feed my cat kibble? Because it's disgusting. They still need fresh protein packed meals to be at their best. Other cat food brands know this, but they choose to put their wallets first. They fill their food with mysterious meat byproducts, artificial flavoring, and preservatives with names I don't even want to try to pronounce. If that sounds gross, imagine having to eat it every day. Ever since my cat Jennifer tried Smalls, her personality has changed remarkably, and she stopped trying to murder me in my sleep. I'm not alone because after making the switch to Smalls, 78% of cat owners reported their cats had shinier and softer fur, and 90% reported overall health improvements. The team at Smalls is so confident your cat will love their product that you can try it risk-free, which means you can get a refund if your cat won't eat their food. Wow! Remember, higher quality ingredients means a healthier and happier life for your kitty, so head to smalls.com bald and use promo code bald at checkout for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. That's the best offer you'll find, but you have to use my code bald for 50% off your first order. One last time, that's promo code bald for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. You know, the feminism 101 thing got a little like, um, I get I, it. I don't know. And but I it was self-aware. As a non-woman, I do feel ill-equipped to critique whether or not that was successful because most of the women I know had a very positive experience with those things in the film. People were crying at the premiere because the first time I seen it, I'm in the room with Margot and Robbie. So every joke, people are like, ha, 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 you know. The first time Oh I, my God, you saw it with Margot Robbie in yes, the room. Nikki, Dua, Margolin. Um, oh, Dula Peep acting. Ryan was there. The whole cast was no there. No Academy Award for Miss Dula Peep. America Ferreira was there. No Academy Award. Hello, Barbie. I mean, wood, I'm talking those, about wooden. Those, Mama, this the table mermaid cameos, is softer than that acting. The mermaid cameos, I was ready to break into that projector room, take out my beauty scissors, and yeah, cut the that terrifier room. too. It's horrible. Yeah. It it's horrible. So it's horrible. It so the momentum comes to a screeching halt when a non-actor yeah. walks on the set and says, and says a line. Hey, Barbie, I love your world. It was like, you want a sickening walk on roll on two broke girls. That's literally what it was. Yeah, it was like, hello, broke girls. Ooh, it was very bad. And I also just want to say, uh, don't, don't clip our critique of this movie and at tweet anyone. Don't tell, like. No, do it. But they will. And like, that doesn't, Mama, I don't I, get that. I act so horribly, it's fine. I'm just, We're I'm not just saying. good, we don't make good movies. No. We're just vibing. But so anyways, I think like, um, oh, you know what the thing that bothered me so much, the styling was perfect, but her bedspread, the, the $8.99 payette sequin um, duvet cover. Oh yeah. In her not by jail, it. jail. Yeah. Even in the Barbie dream house. I don't care if it was true to true to product or whatever. The flat feet scene didn't work for me. It didn't. Flat feet. Ugh. I think that was funny. Didn't work for me. There's just a lot of it. Ryan Gosling made me laugh so much. Yeah. He made the smallest stupid things funny, which I really appreciate. Like so much of the laughs were things he weren't even saying. He was just playing it. I mean, he was he was really good. He's I think great. they CGI'd his body. You think? I think they avengered they avengered him a little bit. I'm not to say I think they probably juiced him. He's then they, so beautiful. They sprayed him and then they also post production him a little bit. Yeah, he's gorgeous, but I felt like he was 42 when he should have been 35. A hundred percent. It you, should. I think it would have been. Um, um, what's you think it should have been Amy Schumer, Zac Efron, but he's just as old, I believe. I, I liked it though. I saw it two times. The both times I was happy with it. Both times I felt like it was long, and the Ken the Ken singing part went on so long. I knew about the gynecologist because you had told me, and I was I was preparing myself for legs in the stirrups, and like some kind. I was preparing myself to be like. You thought she was going to be. The, I thought the, the, she was going to. I thought they were going to like open, open her, her up. pussy lips and be yeah. like, oh, she got a clit. Right. Oh, Barbie got a clit. So Outer should in, they, in they open the lips to reveal yeah. the lips? Is you, that what you're saying? Do you want us to wax your pussy hair, mama? Because you're, you're a true pussy woman. Right. Well, I will say, I don't know, this affirmation of womanhood being that she was going to the gynecologist is also to say that all women have vaginas, which well, is untrue. Well, it's very simplistic. It's pretty like reductive, right? It's pretty reductive. I love, I, I do love the little the little rumblings of people who are like, Barbie's pushing a trans woke agenda down my oh, throat. Oh, I'm obsessed love with it, that. obsessed with it. Love By the way, that. if you think that movie's gay. Yeah. Have you ever known that Barbie is as gay as that movie and has always been? Do you know who makes Barbie? Gay people. Yeah, also I like when they say we don't have any genitals at the beginning. 
both Ken, Barbie and Ken. Off. You know, just so you know, I don't, I don't have a vagina. I also, I did live for when uh, Ken's like, I like the attention and they're in those rollerblading outfits and everyone's making fun of them. Yeah. And then some gay guys like, love that. <laughs> Love that. I loved, I loved it. I thought it was a very successful film. America Ferrera did a great job. Um, that monologue about being a woman mm -hmm. was both times good. Although when I saw it with the actors and everyone, you have to understand in the premiere, everything got a clap and a laugh because right. everything was someone's yeah. costume, some, the actors totally. in the room. Yeah. The, the joke by so-and-so that we don't think was very successful in the premiere was like, ha, 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 ha. You know, so seeing it in a room full of people with no skin in the game, mm -hmm. except the shitty pink Target flip-flops they bought for the movie. Like, <laughs> that's the other thing. We were, the, I'm all in pink, you know, like go to see the movie. Everybody in droves of pink. I'm like, bandwagoners. You know what I mean? I'm sort of like, we get it. You went to, the Fashion Nova was on fleek at the Grove. We get it. We understand. But now I'm afraid that pink is so big this year that for summer, that next year summer is going to be white linens. That's what oh, I'm afraid of. Oh, I don't think so. Pink is never going out of style. But Andrew's saying that this is going to make Barbie core like being goth, where people do it all the time and it's not a trend anymore. Like people who wear pink all the time, Barbie core, that's oh, them. Right. Oh, yeah, that, like that pink lady on West Hollywood. Exactly. Yeah, the one. Yes, the, <laughs> the lady with the pink car. Yeah, just the one. Well, there's, there's Angeline. Only... A and right. then there's, okay, there's two. the pink lady of Hollywood. Okay. But I liked it. I mean, it was fun. Uh, it was out a of great five movie. stars, how many stars would you give it? Four. Me too. I thought it was great. I really did. I mean, I cried zero times, but I felt things. I actually cried. I cried I felt like things. three times. The end when Barbie and Ruth are talking about like, you know, like being human and how unpredictable it is. And it's like, it's an existential crisis movie, which like, if you don't relate to that, you should, you know? Yeah. That, I, what, I, that what, that Billie Eilish song, What Was I Made For? Can you play a little bit? I of it? love it. I don't remember what it was. I used to flow. No, no, no. Oh, no. nails on a chalkboard. What was I made for? Am I don't I think it's worth doll? sitting here and listening to, but just give me a clip. I just want to do a clip. Maybe it'll jog my memory and make me cry. I used to flow. Oh, yeah. 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 I think it's beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful. Oh, the music video is so pretty, too. That song's great. The Dual Peep song's great. Dual the Peep costumes are great. Yeah. So much of it is great. So much of it is great. I, Will Ferrell was fantastic. Yes. The thing is, when you have a recognizable commodity, like anytime you do a, I'm going to take this IP and resurrect it. The people who love that are going to have something to say about it. And with Barbie, everybody has a relationship to Barbie. So mm -hmm. everybody has a two cents. They were never going to make a movie that everyone loved. No. It was never going to be possible. Like Gem and the Holograms. But Gem and the Holograms, I think, was... Agreed to be not successful. From the start. Yeah, I don't think that it's tough to make that not corny. Like you can never make a good gymnastics movie. There just hasn't been one ever. Jam, Jam and the Holograms. Jan, Jan. There's a good gymnastics movie. No, what is it? Don't there's, know. Yeah, there's not one. If you say stick it, I'll kill you. I'll throw that skull at you. There's just not. There isn't a good one, and it sucks. Because I don't like sports movies. Well, I I do, but in order to get like in order to do the gymnastics, you need actual Olympic athletes and- They did it with Itania. Um, that they was They did CGI a lot, I think too. Amazing though. That was incredible. That was legendary. They could do that with um, gymnastics, but it wouldn't- Itania worked me out. It worked, yeah. Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie, Margolin. I saw her in Pan Am, this show. She's just so beautiful. It's just, it's like, Ay, ay, ay. And then her husband looks like her husband should have played Ken. Have you seen him? No. Oh my God. Anyway, hey, what else? Um, I've been watching, uh, let's see what else I've been watching. For my birthday, which is coming up, I told David in advance that what I want is 24 hours of watching The Office. Not in one sitting. I want them redeemable over the calendar year whenever cast, I want. Cathed and colostomy. No, no, no. Oh. It can be whenever I want. And it's ha it can total 24 hours. So if I'm like, hey, David, tomorrow you're sitting on this couch and then we're watching The Office for two hours. Oh, like you punch a, clock, you punch yes. a card. Okay, that's, that's what cool. I'm asking for. So I'm kind of getting geared up for that. I think you should dream bigger. Yeah, but... Yeah. yeah. But he, I, he doesn't like that I watch The Office all the time. So it's sort of like... It's you your know, thing. It's my thing. It's, it's, your, and then it's we've your Oppenheimer. Been, it is. And I've been watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Okay. It's been a lot of Shoot. comfort programming. Would you describe that as something I would like to watch? I think at this stage, it's too late. Okay. I think you would react negatively to some of the sort of CW-esque, like supernatural love storylines. Okay. Like but, is it like Charmed? 
No, it eats Charmed for breakfast. Okay. It eats every other show like that for breakfast. Okay. It's what, it's the Sopranos of that type of show. It's just unbeatable. It's like the best tasting shit you can eat from the toilet. But it's not bad. Oh. The performances okay. are so good. The writing's so good. Okay. The only problem is obviously now the, um, you know, people have, let's say, complex feelings about uh, working with Joss Whedon that are now oh, more right. public. Right, 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 right. And I don't know much about it, but I know that yeah. at the time as a kid, a female driven like superhero show basically is, yeah. was the only one on TV. Right. Still one of the only ones that, you know, passes the Bechtel test. Does it really? Yeah. yeah a lot of the storylines are not about men. There's lesbians. Oh my God. Lesbians on TV. Magic and monsters and Kung Fu and comedy. I mean, that show really has everything. Have you seen Kung Fu Hustle? No. Have you ever seen Kung Pao Enter the Fist? No. That's turnt. Is it a uh, animation? They took a bunch of old Kung Fu movies and edited it and redubbed it to have like, to be comedic. Okay. And they only shot one character as a new character to like make a whole movie from found from old Kung Fu footage. Oh, I like that. It's really cunty. Well, there's like this recurring thing in this, in Kung Fu Hustle where this boy has half of his butt exposed. It's so weird. Kung Fu Hustle? Mm-hmm. It's a Is slapstick. It a movie? It's a Chinese slapstick Kung Fu movie. Is it straight? Uh, I say that like I don't, my favorite show is not The Office. I mean, so. it's, yeah, I mean, I don't think there are any gay fucking in it. The other day I asked David to watch Happy Gilmore with me and he was like, are you straight? Why do you like Adam these movies? Adam Sandler, what did you like, Tommy Boy? Love. Do you like- Tommy Boy is incredible. Water, the, Tommy Boy, Black Sheep, Water, yeah. yeah um, water Boy. Uh, uh, little Nicky. No, um, I'm not crazy about okay. Little Nicky. Love Happy Gilmore, love Billy Madison. Eat that shit up with a spoon. Uh, Billy Madison about, is turned. Um, how about um, uh, Click? We 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 stand Click. I don't know what Click is. Adam Sandler. I am Adam Sandler. What about uh, Jim Sandler? <laughs> Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Uh, what film? The Mask. Of course. You know Cameron um, Diaz is nineteen in that. She's very young. That was her breakout role. What a hot bitch. Mm -hmm. Love she's her. so fun. Yeah, one time I met her at a gig and I said, uh, Did you really? Yeah. And I, she just put out that movie, Bad Teacher, yes. which I think was her last feature before she retired. Yeah. And I said, I just saw, ba I just saw uh, Bad Teacher. Some racy jokes in there. I thought I was doing comedy. And she was not laughing. She didn't like that. So just making great impressions on everyone. Well, did you know that story about Paul Rudd uh, at the finale of um, the last taping of Friends? Where he goes up to Paul Rudd is in Friends. Uh, he was guest starred on it. Oh, so he goes. They're having a group hug, like a like a sentimental moment. But at the end of the show, and he goes up, he's like, "We did it, guys," and not one of them laughed. <laughs> like as a joke, like we did it. Like you know what I mean? Like, like he was a part. Like of he it. was a part of it. No, they not one of them laughed. I have been there. Yeah, but just a bunch of humorless pricks. Sorry, Jen, and whoever else the friends are, Lisa. I think with superstars, you need to temper your expectation about their tether to like um, laughing at themselves and, and others. Their sensitivity to criticism. Yes. Well, <laughs> wait. <laughs> you know what I <laughs> Shut up, no. ew. Ew. I want to talk about your body. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> My body. <laughs> Which part? Wait, my parents promised me the world and they didn't give it to me. Do you remember the show called Sweet 16? No. Where rich kids would have their 16th birthday and cry if they didn't oh, get like that year's They get year's like the Porsche car. 911. Yeah, like, oh, no, 911. They get like the 2011 Porsche yeah, like, and cry. They got me a Porsche Carrera 2022. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. The inner workings of rich people. Mama, love it. We speaking of rich people. Cut to Saturday night, it must have been. I swear to God, it must have been Zendaya or Dula Peep up the hill having the ultimate rager. I cannot believe I just didn't go up and wander into the party. I cannot believe it looking back. I can't I believe, believe you believe didn't. It. What? Why would you want to? Well, to go hang, hang out with the youths? Mama, they were youthful. And so youthful, in fact, that a young man was walking down the street holding his penis Wait out of his jeans was, and pissing. Was it during the day? No, it's not during the day, it's at night. Oh. It's a rager, a party. 
This man was walking confidently with his weenie out, holding it like- You saw it? I saw it clear as day right outside my was bedroom it window. It was actually extremely hot. <laughs> I'm not joking. No, I think was, I would find like, that a little he hot. Was, he was probably like 25, 30, very attractive in right. that light. You know, I couldn't see very well, but saw enough to see- Good his, enough for you. Good enough to see his probably huge Dong well, did spraying you... like a garden hose. I was like, is this a is this like a prop like a prop thing? No, it was real. Well, why didn't you pull out like your little golem act you do and crawl out there and say, piss on me, bitch? Well, I couldn't get there in time. You got this back little patio? Hey, do you want to come out and hang out? I thought Do you pull the trade out here? Mama, I was hoping somebody would wander up because that gate was not locked. Hello. But they don't want this old ass. Anyways, it was like limos, escalades, suburbans for three fucking hours. And wow. then tons of people walking, shit-faced, high as a kite, completely blotto, totally looking like Hollywood Gen Z. I was like, whose fucking party was this? It must have been. The richest people you know in, gi in, in, in giant hoodies with but, long nails and no makeup there, on. But there, like, I don't know who lives up there. It was wild. But I guess it confirms that this neighborhood is not so much a family affair and more of a, like, house, party wild kind of part of town. Do you know what I mean? Well, that should make you feel good because now if you want to go out there and use a little JBL, like it's your life. Yes, totally. And if it like, if I want to have sex on my pergola, you, you know, should. I know. I feel, we have neighbors and I, there's high walls with coverage and I'm back there naked all the time. I and know. my philosophy is if you look over. You're peeping. You're, you're peeping. peeping. That's how I feel you're about watching porn on a plane. I'm like, if you look at me, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, but I don't have an alt Twitter, so I follow a lot of porn accounts. And it always makes me laugh because our like teenage Leslie fans are like, yeah. if or, I like it, if I like a tweet of like a naked guy, yeah. they're like, gross. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm a gay man. I'm a gay man. Yeah. Gay man. You're a gay. The I I have been on the subway in like um Boston or wherever. And like used to follow a lot of porn people. Now I have to mute them all if I follow them. Yeah. Because opening up my browser on my giant iPhone and then like, you know, little driving Miss Daisy sees like just. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's not great. I know. Well, they were so, Mary, they were the so youths. young, so hot, so wild and like. They're full unhinged. of life. They're full of life. You they know what they were, want? You know what they want? What do they want? They want long, long nails. They want a vape. They want a giant KNG. hoodie. K and G. They want a giant hoodie. They want alligator clip, two strands of hair. Two strands of hair. 90s sunglasses. How young are we talking right now? Thin little 90s sunglasses. And they want they want an expensive but ugly shoe. Yes. Oh, yeah. The bigger and the, the nastier, like those Balenciagas. Yes. Yeah. Very, very nasty. Very, like, awkward looking. They want to be breathless, but, breathlessly overworked without actually being employed. But what do they want to do with each other? Party. Have fun. Are they doing... Cocaina and doing Girl, all sexo? I don't who know. Knows? Who knows at this point? Because I don't think necessarily think that straight parties are like sex parties. Gay guys, it all turns into a sex was party. Was it straight people or gay Yes, guys? it was straight. Well, I think it was a mixture, but it was definitely a lot of but straight people. But what are straight people doing though? Like, like actually though, what I are think they it was like a, it was a, it but very, what are they doing at a party? I, I think a famous person was hosting it because it was, who well, they're, draws they're that to many be in the people. proximity of a famous person. Absolutely. I mean, that's what famous people throwing parties is. Would yes. you like to be around me in a way that it's appropriate to be photographed? That's, that's, you the know, Holly, old Hollywood. Who do you think it was? I think it was Zendaya. Jennifer Jason Lee. No, <laughs> Penelope Ann Miller, because people saw Big Top Pee Wee <laughs> on, on TCM and were like, ooh, ooh, ooh girl. girl. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was Jennifer Lewis, the, um, the queen of black Hollywood. Probably. I don't know. I think it was somebody like Zendaya, a young, or, or like, what's her face? Charlie D'Amelio. <laughs> or she probably lives in Calabasas. The TikToker. Exactly. Old. The TikTok I follow we is the, weird. We have the same birthday. That's how I know. Do you know about the meat lover lady? I'll tell you next time. Bye. Okay, bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>